Hi, this is Yukiko. Today I'd like to talk about seven tips to become the person you want to be. And I think most people are just surviving from day to day, either financially, emotionally, or spiritually, or all of the above. I'm going to speak as if I were a complete idealist. Well, you know, I have my moments too. Even though I don't shout and curse, that's only because I sound so weird when I curse in English. I believe that most people are seeking more than a meaning in life. And that I really think in their deepest soul, they really want to experience joy of being alive and not only for themselves, but for their loved ones, and then even for the entire humanity. There are characteristics or personal attributes that you would like to work on to become the person you want to be. The first one is being loyal. We want to be true to our own words and to all people, not just our loved ones and family and friends and our boss, but everyone who come into contact with us. We want to be reliable, trustworthy, with promises made. And we also want to be loyal to ourselves. We want to set a high standard to follow our commitments so we don't end up betraying ourselves, lying ourselves, or deceiving or cheating ourselves. Okay, I have my cat here. And the next one is be interconnected. That is to embrace everyone around us, everyone interconnected. You know, there are a lot of a-holes and clumsy ones and nerds and uh, we'd rather not deal with them at all. You know, those ones that we really want to just brush aside. But we practice to nurture and honor those who are who we think are less than we are in our sphere of influence. You try to be kind and gentle to those who are not as skilled or educated as you are, who are not like you at all. You practice being humble and be helpful without boasting your position or title or status. When we practice to be interconnected, we diminish our judgment, judgmental thoughts will disappear. My cat is here, you see? Here. Hello, say hello, Luffy. This is my Luffy. <laughs> Three. Action speaks louder than words or knowledge. When people are doing something you don't like, don't preach, don't screech, don't brag, don't nag. Don't be pissy and don't be pushy. Set an example. Lead with an example. Show by example, very quietly. You'll get better result that way. Number four, we want to give generously. Well, the Bible is full of related proverbs on giving. When you are working with people, especially customers, give value, give extra bonus, and have faith in the law of reciprocity. What you give, you will receive more, not just the same amount, more and experience the satisfaction of giving. 
So give, you will receive, and then you will experience satisfaction. Give generously. Number five, be imaginative and then adaptable. You know, things happen all the time, emergency, unexpected things. Oh, seems like a disaster. Breathe deep and go deep inside and think outside of the box. Who knows? Solution might be just staring at you right in the face. We will avoid emergencies and crises. Remember, it is not what happens to you or things that happen to you, but it is how you respond that counts. That's what matters. Number six, acknowledge others' contribution and magnificence. Put others before you. Don't give yourself lots of credits. We always celebrate others. And don't grab. Don't be conceited and don't be egotistical. Really put others before you. And number seven. This is an interesting one. It comes from Napoleon Hill. Develop organizational skills and particularly to details. He's one of the first many, many years ago who said, if you have lots of loads of details, delegate. Be willing to be in the habit of delegating details to others who are capable. Outsourcing. This is also a way to um, develop leadership skills in others. And uh, you don't act like a control freak trying to do everything. Because if you try to manage everything, try to do everything on your own, the minutest detail, it is the surest way to lose control and fail. You will experience harmony and peace in business and personal life if you practice these seven traits of characters. I'll repeat it. Be royal. Be interconnected. Action. Take action. It speaks louder than the word. Give generously. Be imaginable, imaginative and unadaptable. Acknowledge others. Put people before you. And develop organizational skills. And if you had in the past some painful experiences and you are just beginning to recover and, and heal from trauma, it's difficult to practice these characteristic traits all at once because you're just beginning to discover who you are and then you want to express and assert yourself. I get it. Just take one or two traits a day and practice it. And if you just had a bad day, a bad day, you may not want to be so nice. You know, there's a tendency in us, we just want to take it out on other people and get back to them. We want to revenge. That's the name of the game sometimes. But you know, practice this just a little at a time. We don't have to be a Buddha. We don't have to be a saint. Just practice. You will become an expert. And then just one day at a time, little by little, you will begin to attract the kind of people you really want to become. And you will be surrounded with the people who are very much respectable, respectful, and wonderful, and admire you, and follow you. Also, you'll become an expert in choosing a group of like-minded people. 
just like you, the kind of person you want to become. If you like the experience working with like-minded people, to experience joy and an encouragement and inspiration, please click below and uh, find my mastermind group. And the full text of this little speaking is um, in my blog. So you can visit my blog that is also listed below. And then please feel free to put comments and then connect me on Facebook. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day. Practice one of the attributes that's listed on my blog.